Well, you can go from the tried and true standards to new hot spots. Tomorrow, a bunch of local restaurants are joining forces to support people living with HIV, AIDS, cancer, other major illnesses. All comes together. Holly's been uh, taking us on a little tour of the whole little, little DuPont Circle U Street area this morning. Where are you now, Holly? Well, I'm at L'Oreal Plaza, so I've gone to three restaurants. I only have 97 to go, right, in terms of featuring all 100 that are graciously giving a portion of their proceeds to Food and Friends. They're giving at least 25%. Some are giving 100% if you dine out tomorrow night. Uh, or some are also offering lunch. It just depends. So right now we're at L'Oreal Plaza. Like I said, Luis Reyes is the chef and owner, and um, he is making us some fresh guacamole. Good That's morning right. to you. Good morning. Thank okay, you. Okay, so what is the key to good guacamole? Well, the, the best, uh, one of the key important key is to have fresh, uh, nice guac avocados. Yeah. This is a wonderful, you see how beautiful it is. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice and clean and uh, very beautiful. This is a... Uh, and perfectly ripe. Perfectly. That's always my challenge, has, making sure they're perfectly ripe. to be perfectly right. yeah. All right, I'm going to continue to let you uh, whip up that wonderful fresh guacamole. And as you do that, I want to bring in Rosemary Reed Miller because Rosemary is a very special person. One, you are a client of Food yes. and Friends. Mm -hmm. So um, as a client, what difference in your life has Food and Friends made for you? Well, I'm not much of a cook, but I was going through chemotherapy for ovarian cancer, and it was very important because your appetite goes down to zero. And so you need nutritious food, you know, food for you to keep up your um, immune system. Sure. And so Food and Friends was recommended, and it's literally given me the gift of life. You know what I love is that one of their catch lines is um, we serve up hope one meal at a time. Okay. And it's amazing the hope that can come in a meal. It's very important. You are also going to be a volunteer host for tomorrow evening. So what does that mean? So here at L'Oreal, I'll be here uh, to greet friends and to greet, um, I guess, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's my first time. <laughs> and we'll ask them, we'll uh, thank them for coming and then ask them for extra donations. But you know what, the, the importance of your role as volunteer and host is that you're putting a face mm -hmm. on Food and Friends. You're, you're putting a face on the event so people know that they're really making a difference when they order out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing that. How's that guacamole coming? <laughs> All right, now <coughs> that is a whisk. Yes. I like to. that. So why is it important for you to be a part of the Dining Out for Life? Well, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we've been doing this for many years to uh, participate in Food and Friends. I think it's a great cause mm -hmm. for the people uh, who need it. So we've been participating a couple of years since we were in the old place like uh, 16 years ago. All, every year we participate yeah, in this. Yeah, you're one of the veterans for yeah. sure. Yeah. So now how are the reservations for tomorrow? Well, uh, we take reservation <clears throat> up until 6 o'clock, excuse mm -hmm. me. And then uh, after 6 o'clock, it's first come, first serve. We expect uh, a big crowd tomorrow. Yeah, I yeah. bet you're going to have yes. a big crowd. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and so. I expect to see some of that guacamole. What's it look like when it's done? Oh, this is great. You see, coming up very good. Fresh, nice guacamole from That was my cue to show the finished product. Can I see the finished product? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be pushy or anything, but Rosemary and I want to try some of this guac, because nothing beats guac for breakfast, right? Yeah, How's your appetite for that? Beautiful, that you see? Perfect. Wonderful cheap. <laughs> and he's also going to be making up some ceviche tomorrow. Oh, no, go ahead, okay. dig in. Please try it. Dig in, dig in, because I'm going to, as yeah. soon as I finish saying this. MyFoxDC.com is our website. We have a link to Food and Friends. They have a complete list of the 100 restaurants that are taking part. They also have noted on there which restaurants are doing lunch and dinner, and the restaurants that are giving of more than 25%. There are some restaurants out there that are giving 100% of their proceeds tomorrow night to Food and Friends. This is one of the biggest fundraisers that Food and Friends has throughout the year, and it really, really does make a difference and makes this city a wonderful, more healthy place. You are making a difference. You are helping serve up hope if you make a reservation tomorrow night. Please come. See, I gave night. that one to her because that's going to be mine. All that right. Whole bowl. All right. Thanks, Holly. That Thank looks you. delicious. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Holly, thank you so much. I, I, I was not a guacamole fan until later in life. I feel like I missed out on it, though. Mm. So good. That's awesome. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying out a new look. What do you think about this? I like what it, too. Mean? The colors? 
The cross <laughs> well, the, of the legs. The cross of the legs. Mm. You look sophisticated, Tucker. Do I? That and your fancy new car you're going to get. I feel like I need some uh, I need some reading glasses yeah. or something. All right, let's do a quick look at the forecast. Uh, going to be a nice yeah, afternoon, get a, 64. Get a, what is it called, monocle? Oh, I don't know. Partial sunshine. Yeah, yeah maybe that'll be a good look. Uh, tomorrow looks beautiful. Nice spring like weather next couple days. <laughs> Might need a jacket today. It's a little cool out there right now. Convertible weather? Oh, I want a rematch, Jackson family. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Family feud. Bye, everybody. <laughs>